Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to restring my violin with this Peter Infeld set of strings by Tomastic Infeld Vienna. All right, so um, at the moment, my violin strings is a combination of Zyx D A E and an obligato G. Now, I love the Zyx, however, with on my G-string, I have a wolf tone on the B, so to tone it down, I bought the obbligato. And yeah, it, it worked. It worked for me. Um, but also, there's also a uh, wolf tone on the B in here. So um, they're great. They're a great uh, combination for me. Um, I love the projection and especially the E-string. Um, to me, it's like singing. I know I've, I've tried a couple of E-strings, um, the gold, E strings, uh, Piraso, um, Oracle, but this is my favorite so far. So, if I have to stick with this one, I would always like it, would always cost myself more because of the obligato G. So, I thought, why not try the Peter Infeld? Okay, um, I also have the Alpha U in here, and I also have a review of this one with a sound sample. Um, it's a good place for beginners to start, or if you know, if you're still the venture trying to find out which strings would suit your violin, then this is a good place to start with. It will also give you a feel of like dominance. So the dominant could probably be in between these two strings. Um, however, I just found that um, this is not ringing as much as the dominance or resonating much. So um, that's the only downside, but it's cheaper. So. Yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and change the strings. So what I have in here is the peg compound that I've been using for, um, I don't know, eight years. So this has been to many places already. Uh, and I haven't restrung my, uh, violins, uh, my violin for six months. So I'll do this one one by one. So just to have like a comparison uh, with the Alpha U and... Um, uh, Peter Infeld, both from Tomastic. Um, they're both more of the brilliant sound, brilliant side of the sound. Um, so Alpha U is actually more focused and this one is in between focus and rich. They're both easy to play with. Uh, tension is lower than the Alpha U. This one is uh, medium. And tuning stability is excellent in here. Um, break time, that's probably that. It's also like short. So yeah, let's go and find out. Okie dokie, here we are. That's the box. Inside we have four packets. Let's start with the E. Okay, so make sure that you wash your hands. I've just washed my hands uh, before doing this one. So, well, I do this one one by one. Now this is actually the best time for you to put um, peg drops because you don't have to remove your um, strings. So I just uh, put a drop there and the two sides where it's um, shinier. And when I put it back, I just give it a rotation like that. I don't know if what I did was right. This one shouldn't actually touch the um, strings. So let me just wipe that one a little. Okay. Now that that's done, I'm just going to protrude that a little here on this side. So this is where I put this string. Oh, look at that. The rubber is actually in there. <gasps> Even the loop. Oh dear. Okay, I've got an extra. That's good. I can use this one for the electric one. I have never tried putting one of these. Okay, that's quite easy. You just snap it in. And put one of the um, protectors so you are not going to damage your 
Bridge. All right, there you go. Ah, okay, this one looks thinner than the Zyx. It feels thinner. Hey. So I'm going to try another way so it doesn't go inside. So I'll just put it there. Yeah. So there you go, that's all done. Um, so what we need to do now is just to make sure that we let the strings um, settle in, break it in, play it for a couple of hours and then see how it goes and I'll probably do a sound sample. So there you go. Um, let me know what you think guys. Um, how do you do it? Do you do it differently or um, do you have a different way? So the reason why I did it one at a time is just so that my um, um sound post won't fall down and yeah i saw a lot of people like stretching their strings but for me i think you know it will stretch the way the tension is at the moment so i'll let it stretch naturally make sure you keep your um cold strings as, as spare because you wouldn't know if you could snap one you have an easy replacement in there and these are these are still okay or if you want, you can just put it on your spare violin if you have another one. So there you go. Let's try this out.